Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. This is week 73. This week I got three topics, actually a fourth one. I'm going to talk about some Pilot Institute news. But the three topics are the ban from the Department of Justice on DJI drones. It's finally happening, so we'll talk about the implications there. Uh, we'll talk about the new payload from DJI, speaking of. And then the last thing is we'll talk about a guy who's going to jail after shooting at a drone. Yet another one, unfortunately. <laughs> The first topic this week is the DOJ is banning DJI drones. And this came from a memo from the Department of Justice. And uh, in the memo, they basically said, no agency may use DOJ funds for any unmanned aircraft manufactured by a covered foreign entity. Covered foreign entity, read China in this case. The ban is actually, interestingly, not all inclusive. There are some exceptions in there, and it says exceptions can be made if the agency demonstrate that they have an effective procedure in place to ensure the security of the platform. Obviously, what is going on now is they're afraid of a data leak and uh, data being shared with the Chinese government. So if the, the agency has a policy in place or procedure in place to make sure that that data does not leave and doesn't get shared with the, uh, the, the parties that shouldn't be having the data, then the ban should not apply. In this case, an exception can be made. Um, interestingly, it says in here, if, you, if you're wondering, is it only to purchase? Or is it also to actually use the drones themselves? It says no funds may be used to not only purchase, but also to use and operate the unmanned aircraft. So this is going to have an effect on the current fleet for public safety agencies that are part of the government that, uh, that are using these drones at the moment. This includes the FBI, the Department of Homeland Security, NOAA, the NTSB, and probably a lot more agencies. All of these cannot no longer use these uh, UAS from DJI. So what this means is that it's probably going to cost millions to replace the fleet if that's what they're going to be doing. And a whole bunch of used DJI drones on the market probably available for purchase. So if you're looking for a good deal, this might be the good time. Uh, but on a serious note, this is, uh, this is kind of a, a major, major waste of money, of taxpayer money, if, uh, quite frankly. Uh, that's uh, just going to go in flames right here that we're going to be using to replace drones. Uh, I know I talked about in the past about the blue UAS and, um, and, and we'll see if the blue UAS can actually replace this entire fleet right here. How long is it going to take? Do we have the, uh, the, the capability to create these drones and then sell them to these government agencies or not? So it'd be interesting to see kind of the downfall of this deci decision right here. And uh, I'll keep you posted if I hear more. The next thing is, speaking of DJI, they just released two new cameras, and one of them is actually a LiDAR camera for the first time. So these two payloads that they're re releasing is going to be for the Matrice 300 RTK. Uh, I talked about the Matrice 300 a couple, couple months ago now, I guess. Time flies. And uh, this is their new platform to replace the, the, the 200 and the 210. And... Um, I guess it's it's a different platform, I should say. And uh, so they're, they're releasing a LiDAR camera and a full frame camera. The LiDAR camera is the Zenmuse L1. This is the first time that DJI actually releases a LiDAR solution. It has a 70 degree field of view, a, a high accuracy IMU 20 megapixel camera using a one inch sensor. And they say that it's going to collect 240,000 points per second of data and has a detection range of 450 meters. So this is a pretty solid camera right here. It's going to be using the DJI Terra app that they have available to do surveying and mapping. Uh, that's their own software. And so attached to this is the new camera, uh, the other Zenmuse, which is the Zenmuse P1. And the P1 is a full frame camera with a mechanical shutter and a 45 megapixel sensor. And um, the, it has the ability to have different lenses on it. There's a 24, a 35, and a 50 millimeter lens that you can attach to it. Uh, price point, we don't really have no idea at this stage. This will be released in early 2021. But what they're saying is that you'll get high accuracy without having to use ground control points. And they're talking about three and five centimeter uh, accuracy, which is fairly accurate. And then 
Uh, the other thing is that it has the ability to do actually real-time mapping for uh, certain missions where you can use DJI Terra to create these, uh, these real-time mapping missions. So if you're in public safety, for example, and you need to go to a, a disaster area and you need to brief your team on how this is going to look on the ground, then this is what you would be doing right here using this kind of uh, equipment. So like I said, available in early 2021. I'm putting a link down here uh, to the press release from DJI. And um, that's it for this one. Uh, the next story, shoot a drone, go to jail, don't pass go, don't collect $200, and, um, and don't do that again, hopefully in the future. Uh, Georgia man was arrested for shooting a p public utility uh, c a company drone. And uh, the company says it was actually valued to $15,000, $15,000. I'm not sure. I couldn't find what they were flying. I couldn't find the detail. I'm sure there's an article somewhere that talks about it. But uh, he was charged with criminal damage to property in the second degree and reckless conduct. Uh, the, uh, the, the public utility company basically said that they... Um, they told the guy that they were going to be flying. They were doing an inspection on a, on a, a, a pole, I guess, that had just been painted. And uh, they said that they told him what they were going to do. They weren't flying over his property. Not that it would excuse it anyway. And, uh, and the guy decided to shoot at the drone. So uh, now he's in jail and he's going to be, I'm sure, paying back a whole lot of money for doing that. So don't be that guy. I hate to say it, but don't be that guy. Don't shoot at drones. Not a good thing. And the last thing I have this week is a, an update from Pilot Institute. We just reached 40,000 students, 40,200 and change uh, last time I checked. So uh, really exciting. That's a, kind of a, a big gap, right? A big, uh, a big uh, point for us. And we are over 54,000 enrollments now uh, in our courses. So really excited. We're still working on new courses. We actually will be releasing something in, the, uh, in November. Really excited. I can't really talk about it right now, but uh, the announcement will be coming public and uh, really, really pumped about this. So um, that's all I have. Go out, fly, get some uh, colored leaves out there. It's the time of year where you can go fly. It's not too cold, not too hot and uh, get some cool views. Uh, share them if you have them. Just put them in the comment. I want to see what you guys are doing out there. And uh, as always, love enjoying uh, interacting with you and uh, click the like, click the subscribe, whatever it is that you do to get these videos and I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.